just in case your teacher asks you about those exceptions, right? You know, oxygen is, on the periodic table, located over here, and as you go across the period right here, period number two, you're going to get an increase in ionization energy, so it's harder to remove the outermost electron from uh, a beryllium, but then it's harder to remove the outermost electron in boron, then carbon, then nitrogen, but then oxygen, there's actually a little dip, and it's not as hard to remove the outermost electron in oxygen. You want to know why? Because oxygen looks like this, right? 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 4. And if you're going to remove the outermost electron, that one right there is saying, I would just as soon leave anyway because I don't like to be with this guy here in this orbital because, you know, uh, we're the only ones here in the two P's that are doubled up. And so actually the first double occupancy orbital that you have in the two P's is always an electron that says, I don't even want to be there. And so it's an exception to the trend. So ionization energy is increased going across, but oxygen says, you know what? I actually would like to get rid of my outermost electron a little bit easier than, say, phosphorus would. And so there's a, a bucking of the trend. And what about electron affinities? That's, that's when you give an, an atom an electron. Well, if you're nitrogen, you're nitrogen, and you're going, going across the same period as oxygen is in the periodic table, the electron affinity value should all go up. That means it should be very favorable to give an electron as you go across, but nitrogen says, hey man, I'm 2p3, see, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, and if you have to actually give me my first double occupancy electron here, I don't like it. And this electron doesn't want, or this one or this one, doesn't want a partner. And so therefore, it's harder to give nitrogen an electron, so its electron affinity isn't as, uh, as good, or it doesn't release as much energy, so that's a bucking of the trend too. So, the trend buckers for ionization energy is anything here in group number 16 of the periodic table, and for electron affinity, it's group number 15 of the periodic table. Now, the last one, atomic radius, well, that's actually pretty easy to understand, because what is the size of atoms? Well, you know, when you're going across the periodic table, you think, well, you know, you get more protons, the mass is getting bigger, so you think that the radius is getting bigger, and it's not. Think about it. As you increase the number of protons when you go across, you actually increase the attractive force on the electrons outside, and then they converge and come closer to the nucleus when you have more protons in the nucleus. So the atomic radius goes down as you go across. Yes, elements get heavier as you go across. They gain more protons and more electrons, but their radius shrinks. So that means actually that oxygen is going to be a smaller atom than boron is. And it's absolutely true, but oxygen weighs more. Cool. Okay, and what's the trend going down though? Hey, you can't help it. When you go down, you're increasing energy levels and therefore the atom just gets bigger. So when you go down, it makes sense. The atom gets, the radius gets larger. But when you go across, it gets smaller.